Today we're gonna be making an amazing folio mini album full of magic for Victoria Designs. It is super easy to follow, so let's see what's on the way. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Marina here and I am back with fresh ideas after a long break. I made this big folio mini album for Victoria Designs and decorated with beautiful digital papers from the new release called Magical Forest by Victoria. Everything is linked down below in the description box, such as the kit and Victoria's YouTube channel. So here we have a 20 by 25 centimeters or 7 and 7 eighths by 9 and 7 eighths of an inch folio. And here in the left section there is a side pocket that can hold all these printable beauties. This freebie can easily be used to make bookmarks, but I used it to make this kind of a booklet to journal if you'd like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me your comment down below. This is really so important for me. Here you can journal as well and on the back you can stick your pictures. Here is another opportunity to journal on the back and you can easily fold it in an accordion way to create a super cute mini journal to either stick your pictures or to write anything you wish. Here is a place where you can put your 10 by 15 centimeters or 4 by 6 photos as well. This flap stays closed with these elements. This opens on the left and there is a place to put a picture 10 by 15 or smaller ones. Here is my favorite part of the album. On these pockets you will find these unbelievably wonderful envelopes ready to print them as they are and simply cut them out. I love these tricky pockets. And here is another pocket that holds these two cards. Look at this magical background. So you can use them as a mat to stick your 4x6 uh, uh, pictures and uh, just trim it a little bit on the edge. You can already feel like living in this forest. This whole thing opens in this way. How cute are these butterflies? I am so excited to share this gorgeous kit with you. On the back of this box envelope you will find this pocket to hold some photo mats. And here is a box envelope where you can put a lot of stuff in there.
On the tutorial, I am going to show you how you can make these two journals in a quick and easy way using no thread. Of course, you can decorate your journal as you like by sticking down a lot of freebies you will find in the kit, but I kept it as simple as I wanted. Let's move on on the right section. Here is a big magnetized photo mat to hold all the flaps on place. I suggest not to stick any photo or anything else here, just to make sure that every flap will be on place. Here is a pocket with two tags and they are definitely so beautiful and in perfect color combination. And here is a side waterfall. I used this beautiful fairy as a tag spot to hold these tags. And the last page with a belly band for a 4x6 photo. So I'm going to show you the magical forest kit and for sure you're gonna be enchanted by the beauty of it. I printed all the papers on my Epson printer on a 200 GSM A4 cardstock using the photo quality inkjet photo matte paper by Epson. Of course you can use any type of printer you have. Just look at the details here, the white letters on the background. Here is one of a dozen journal pages. You can print on the back of them another pattern like I did on the tutorial you will see later on. And these are smaller journal pages. And finally, here are the amazing 100 elements to decorate your project. These are the envelopes I used in the project. We start building our base by cutting pieces of medium weight chipboard about 1.5 or 2 mm weight. I am going to use three pieces of black cardstock 200 GSM to cover my album. I use double sided tape to stick them together.
I am using a T ruler just to be sure that everything will be adhered straight but uh, this is totally optional. I am leaving a small space about 5 mm between the covers and the spine. I am using my scissors to cut the corners, leaving a small space about 3 mm. I am now using an embossing tool to help the paper fold more easily. With a knoll, I remove the double-sided tape. I push the corners on the inside a little bit. Let's begin to build the left panel first and for that we need to cut some pieces of black cardstock 200 GSM or 160 GSM as well and use a scoring board to score all of these on the given measurements. Now I am going to burnish well with a bone folder. Here. 
Here we create a side pocket by trimming the corners as shown. And now we form the two small pockets. I put double sided tape on all these 1.5 scored parts I am going to adhere the piece B on the middle of the piece A There will be created a small space up and down about 1.5 cm up and 1.5 cm down.
I am going to adhere the side pocket on the left edge of the flap. To adhere the small pockets on the album, we are going to cut two pieces 9.5 by 3 cm and simply fold them in half.
Now it's time to put some magnets on the album. I am using magnets with 8mm diameter and 1mm thickness. First I put a small amount of liquid glue. I stick the magnets and I put a piece of double sided tape on them like this. Then I take the double sided tape with the sticky side up to stick the other magnet and press down firmly. I am going to make the box envelope. Unfortunately, at this point the camera was out of battery and I didn't realize it. You will cut the edges of this piece of cardstock in the same way I am doing it for the right side. Instead of gluing the whole envelope in my page, I am going to use it as a pocket and put glue only on the three sides of it. 
In this way, I will create an extra room behind the envelope for pictures and tags. Let's move on to build the right panel. This is the piece that is going to hold closed the flaps on this section. And now it's the best part, the decoration part. Here I have fuzzy cut out all these beauties one by one and as you can realize by yourself there are a dozen of different style elements, all adorable and unique. I grab a pocket here just to show you how you will create a pocket with this freebie. You only need to take your scoring board and score on the lines of the paper. So easy. Of course, for this step you can use your embossing tool with a ruler as well. You 
You put glue on these scoring parts and it's done. I am going to show you how I made these journals. I printed the journals on uh, both sides and I do take care on the height of the journal just to make sure that it fits on the envelope. For this project you have to trim a little bit the top part. So I take three pieces of paper, in this case I decided to use ivory cardstock 160 GSM but uh, this is totally optional, you can use any type of paper you have in your stash. I make the contour of the journal and cut it out using my cutting machine. Then I fold it in half, burnish it well and using my stapler I do staple up and down as shown. I cut the excess using an exacto knife and a ruler. I repeat the same process for the big journal.
that was the tutorial for today. I hope you got inspired. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!